Benjamin Netanyahu's remarks are likely to resonate deeply with those who prioritize a conservative sense of justice and the necessity of standing firm in the face of existential threats. His stance can be viewed as essential for Israel's survival, projecting a message, terror will not bend the will of the state. By refusing to compromise in the face of violence, Netanyahu signals both to Israeli citizens and their adversaries that Israel will not be intimidated. This unwavering approach is not only crucial for national security, but also reinforces psychological resilience, bolstering collective unity and purpose through a show of strength. Secretary Blinken said, Israel accepted the U.S. proposal. Now Hamas must do the same. On uh, August 28th, that's five days ago, five days ago, Deputy CIA Director said that Israel shows seriousness in the negotiations. Now Hamas must show the same seriousness. I want to ask you something. What has changed in the last five days? What has changed? One thing. These murderers executed six of our hostages. They shot them in the back of the head. That's what's changed. And now after this, we're asked to show seriousness? We're asked to make concessions? What message does this send Hamas? It says, kill more hostages, murder more hostages, you'll get more concessions. The pressure internationally must be directed at these killers, at Hamas, not at Israel. We say yes, they say no all the time, but they also murdered these people. And now we need maximum pressure on Hamas. I don't believe that either President Biden or anyone serious about achieving peace and achieving the release would seriously ask Israel, Israel to make these concessions. We've already made them. Hamas has to make the concession. Thank you very much. Netanyahu's argument that tolerance or concessions after atrocities send the wrong message strikes a chord with many who believe that aggression is best met with firmness. In this view, toughness and adherence to strong principles are key in countering threats, as any sign of weakness or compromise may be interpreted as an invitation for more violence. The public, generally valuing national security and law and order, aligns with Netanyahu's refusal to yield to terrorists, particularly in situations involving hostages. His leadership emphasizes the moral duty of self-defense and the obligation to protect citizens, especially when faced with such brutal acts, positioning him as a leader committed to safeguarding both the nation's physical and moral integrity.